Greetings, Ashen here. This evening I'm going to be doing a second review on Salamandroid, yes. So as you saw with the last review I had, there were a lot of issues. <laughs> you can see here this poor fellow, he, because there's nothing here to support his arm, it's sort of bending over time. As you can see, there's a protective bit over here that uh, keeps this plastic in line. It's hard and it keeps everything up, you know, much like so many things in a man's life. Um, and well, as you could see, he, aside from that, he wasn't in too bad of a condition. He was missing this. Uh, but I did talk to EVS about everything. We got it all sorted out and he shipped me over another one. So I didn't think I would go through all the trouble of, uh, showing you another unboxing and all that kind of stuff. I actually ended up keeping the box for the original figure because the one I received in the mail got destroyed by, uh, the people who delivered it. So just a mess all around, but that's just kind of the luck I have. This isn't EVS's fault. <laughs> But now I successfully have a Salamandroid, and uh, he's in good condition. I learned a lot of things about the figure, too, because my daughter loves this. this she plays with this toy, and it's okay. You know, uh, it's it's got some sharp bits on it. I know the package says for, like, 14 plus or whatever. But uh, she, she wanted her hands on this thing immediately. So I let her play with this one, even though it doesn't stand up right. She calls it the lizard and has it eat uh, little fake candies and stuff like that. Uh, but I did take the tail off because, uh, well, the, uh, paint on the last tail was peeling off. It was chipping everywhere. Uh, I don't know that that's going to be an issue this time here. Let's go ahead and just check. See right here, this is my gloves I use to handle, uh, my more collectible items. And we're going to dig right in here. No paint, no paint. So you can see here, if this was the last figure, the paint would have been chipping off everywhere. So as you can see, that is resolved. And you just have this splendid Salamandroid figure here in a really good condition. Um, I don't see any flaws in this one. If you were wondering what this looked like, if you only experienced this through my channel, then you can get a nice close-up look at this. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's, I know he talks. Okay, that's just the noise that I, I envision coming out of him. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, there you go. You can see his underside. Now, one of the things I did learn when uh, taking the tail off of this one was that this tail, oop, he's rolling over. Uh, he does this famously. He wants pets on the belly. But in the tail here, you can see there's this odd section now, this can actually separate uh, the tail into two different sections. You can pull this off and you'd have a bit of a shorter tail. I guess it's because the uh, whatever the band is they use only goes this far. So they had to add a second piece for the other part of the tail. So this is sort of a dead zone if you want to bend the tail. Aside from that, it bends okay. It's uh, semi-bendy. It'll hold in place though if you bend it pretty good. Just in case you want to pose the tail or anything like that. But there is a dead zone. And then also the tail, if you pull hard enough, you can just rip it right out of here. So, uh, anyway, all the complaints I had with the last figure. Uh, it's not that he doesn't serve good use. I mean, he is a good child's play toy. But uh, I can keep this one around and uh, put him back in the box and everything like that. Have him as like a little collector's item. Uh, well... Not so little. This thing is huge. <laughs> all right. Well, that's really all I have to say on this update of the uh, reviewing of Salamandroid. Anyway, I'm very satisfied. And, uh, you know, good job. All right. Thank you for watching. And I hope you all have a great day. Yes.